Hello, my Aries. Happy Tuesday. Elsie here to do your uh, check-in, your energetic check-in for the week. So um, anything you want to know about this reading is going to be down in the description below, as this is a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you do not know what your Moon and your Rising sign are, please uh, go to my banner, bottom right-hand corner. You'll find a link there. You'll be able to find out your Moon and Rising, and then you'll be able to watch for those um, videos as well. So if you're interested in getting a reading with me, uh, I am taking personal readings. If you are in Canada, please just email elsie at tenacupstarot.ca or you can go to my website, tenacupstarot.ca. Uh, if you are someone who uh, is outside of Canada, please go to wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. And uh, yeah, you can pick your package from there. All right, so here we are with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And let's start out with the overall energy. What do we have for the overall energy for... Oh, you know what? I just got scolded. I didn't, didn't uh, cut here. All right. So now, there we go. That feels better. So, um, yeah, let's find out the overall energy for this reading for you, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Overall energy we have is the devil. Interesting. Okay. And... Um, your person. So the person that you come here um, to hope about, to hear about, that person, the ones that are on the forefront of your mind, Aries, that person, um, this, uh, this person, uh, this is how they're feeling about you. Um, they're feeling as though you're just about ready to make a choice, um, that you've um, chosen, you're, you're about ready to head down the path that you've chosen. I feel like you're about to make a choice, a big one, a big one that's going to change your life. Um, how does your person view you, Aries? They view you as uh, someone who is like the Knight of Pentacles. So they view you as being very steady, very sturdy, moving very slowly, um, but being very careful. So, you know, coming into them um, carefully and uh, correctly and um, they see you as someone who is balanced, right? That you have balanced energy and um, that you are you know, like the the King of Pentacles, someone who is um, very serious about getting all of the information to its destination. And then we have the action and advice for your reading. Action and advice is the moon. So I would say that things right now um, are not as they seem, that you can't see too much further into the future than this. I, I believe that the moon is like a protection. As a reader, I see it as a protection because not everybody, not all of of us need to know what's going on in the future. Only those of us who are um, who are going to use that um, energy responsibly are kind of able to peek in. But you will have a bit of vision underneath the moon, but it just won't be uh, the clarity like under the sun. So uh, we have uh, the outcome here. Outcome would be death. So something coming to an end. I feel like there was a decision made here. Um, uh, to have a new start, yeah, absolutely, with the Fool and the um, and the Ace of Pent, or sorry, the Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person, this Aries, is going to get their Empress, the Empress is Taurus or Libra. Um, I feel like they're going to do it quickly. There is some information that they haven't given you, um, or that you haven't given them, Aries. I believe that you're going to finally tell them that you feel like they are your soulmate and uh, that you plan on walking away from another relationship and closing that chapter. So, whew, very interesting. A lot of information at the very beginning. So, okay. So let's look at this. Uh, we'll clarify a little bit here. Tell me about the devil energy and why it's the overall energy here. I feel like the overall energy could be a little bit of fear, feeling like you want to break away from something. Uh, a little bit of toxic energy, I think. So let's see what we have for clarification here for you, Aries. Clarify for Aries, please clarify the devil card. Tell us more why, about why this is the overall energy of this reading. Why is it the overall energy of this reading for Aries? Please, we got one sticking out there. Um, so I feel like the reason that, that you... Um, 
that you stayed in a relationship was because of money. So I feel like you, um, if you haven't ended that relationship yet, I see that um, you are going to be ending some sort of a relationship, Aries. But I feel like the... Um, the Ten of Cups is something that you've been holding on to for a very long time. You've been holding on to um, emotion, uh, memories, um, you know, all of the feelings that you have about the relationship that you were in um, that you... I feel like there was a fear of... Um, Yeah, I think that you and and your person wanted different things. And there was a fear of you getting lost within your your person. That person sort of wanted you to forget who you were and put all your energy into them. And I, I feel like you lost yourself for a little bit. That, um, that you have been working really hard at work um, because that is how you are feeling uh, your worth right now. So you're not really feeling worth... Um, not really feeling worth at home at this time because I feel like you feel that every emotion that's given to you is given with a bit of toxic energy. And... Yeah, I feel like when when you do have a conversation with um, the person that you're committed to, I feel like it ends up fighting and fighting pretty quickly. Um, I feel like you are more of a happy-go-lucky than the other person, and the other person is a lot of seriousness. Um, I feel like sometimes you just want to break away, like you just want to take your person, the person you're committed to, and you just want it to break away and just get away from everything. But your person didn't want to do that. No, they're very... Um, they're very serious about the partnership and, um, you know, always setting goals. And, um, yeah, I feel like the person, your, your person's need to succeed far outweighed what they had in a relationship with you. So I feel like your person was living, you know, um, uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses, essentially, and um, you are not all about what people see um, on the surface. You didn't really care, but that's that's not something that was working out for you because your person is a bit toxic that way. They liked everybody to see outwardly what they own because that is what gives them self-esteem. So I feel like your person um, decided that they weren't... Um, that they wanted you to step back a little bit and let them take some attention for a certain thing. And I don't know what it's for. Um, you don't trust the person you're living with, Aries. What are you doing? You don't, yeah, you don't trust the person that you live with. You don't want to grow with them anymore. So um, you really don't want to have this partnership anymore. You do a lot of arguing. You feel kind of stuck to this person now. You no longer are making a choice to stay, you're kind of making a choice daily to tolerate them, and it's not good. Um, the Seven of Swords tells me that you have not told your partner this yet, and that it might be coming up soon, because I don't ha know how much longer you can take that, um, that sort of energy day by day. All right, so we have, um, how's this person feeling about you? How is the person you're thinking about feeling about you, Aries? I feel like they feel um, that you must be having affairs or something because um they um your person uh feels as though that um so the person you're thinking about aries um that person doesn't really think that you're treated very well in your marriage and um is willing to get into a third party uh situation with you if that's the only way that they can have you, that's the, that's the way that they're going to do it. But they know that you aren't faring well where you are and that you're, um, the person that you're committed to is not the greatest person. So um, your person, what they're feeling for you is love. Yeah. Um, so the person you're thinking about, that person is terribly in love with you. And... Um, yeah, they're willing to um, get themselves into a third party if that's if that's what you need for now. That they're willing to do that. What's going on here? 
Okay, so your person, actually, the person you're thinking about, they're also walking away from a relationship. And that's because they feel like they're, they're you are their wish fulfillment, Aries. A um, little bit scared to walk away, I guess. But um, nonetheless, I think they feel like they're making the right decision because they're very connected to spirits. So um, your person is highly intuitive. And um, I think they think that they're doing the right thing by waiting um, and not really getting into the middle of everything. Um, your person, they view you as someone who's, who's eventually going to ask... Um, you know, for, uh, you know, maybe a relationship. And I think that you are um, someone that's been hurt. And I don't know that you're going to want to have a relationship. I think you're manifesting something that's lovely. But yeah, I think you're still too broken about the relationship that is just broken up or is about to break up. Um, there isn't anything that you can do at this point. You've just got to go through the feelings and emotions and um, heal yourself. That's all you can do is heal yourself. Tell me about the moon energy here. Your um, messages from spirit about um, what the advice is for this reading is to take another, um, another path in passion. Yeah, I think that um, there's the thing that you don't see coming is that um, there is going to be happiness. It might be with someone who you have an age difference with, but there is going to be happiness because this is the advice of the universe. You may have to wait for a little bit um, and you're going to become bored, emotionally bored. But this person that is being brought to you, Aries, is someone from your past. Someone that uh, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and... Um, you know, it's not uncommon for Taurus to show up in Aries reading, but nonetheless, um, the uh, I feel like your person could be someone who is an Earth sign, um, Aries, and oops, yeah, I think you've been missing them. I think you've been missing them a lot, and it's time for you to end this. This way you were, this person you were, the one who took all the orders and, you know, didn't really speak up for themselves. I feel like this relationship and that part of you is now dead. That part of you is going to die and you're never going to see that person again. Um, you're never going to see the person that you were again is what I mean. So I feel like when you do do, do do, <laughs> sorry, when you do come to this transformation um, that you are um, all of a sudden financially stable. So I think that you are going to be transforming um, and you're going to be coming out of a relationship and going into another. I feel like um, you feel that this relationship that you want to get into or that you see in the distance is something that's going to be incredibly um, good because the Wheel of Fortune is going to be turning in your favor and that is while you are um, having this new start after this transformation, Aries. So if you are someone who is is fighting the transformation of whatever that is and however that looks for you just know that there is something new coming after you learn the lesson right after you learn the lesson and you close that door um, and you decide within yourself that you're not going to repeat the cycle then you can move forward and I think this is your opportunity to move forward yeah and to level up spiritually to um, level up uh, as a person personally um, with things that you have learned uh, throughout last year and you know there's more clarity this year for a lot of us than there was last year because we already have 2020 in the rear view mirror right and we know um, how people how some people react in a situation like this and it's broken a lot of relationships and marriages um, I feel like for you it is it was the realization that you needed um, um, being sort of stuck in with the person you were committed to. This is the reality kick you needed in order to restart your life. Because I think you've realized that, you know, you do deserve a new start. And it is time for you to move forward. Because this person, you are just going to get further and further and further into the distance of this marriage or committed relationship. And you just will no longer exist anymore and I know that you're looking for love you want to be loved you want to give love and 
There you are, King of Wands. Yeah, and you want to be the last one standing. So I feel like you are going to go, um, yeah, start something new with someone else. I think that um, you have been trying to do that with a couple of false starts, it feels like. Um, but I feel like you are making um, grounded plans in order to uh, be able to move forward here. Let's see what else the universe is saying here about this reading. let go so all of those things that are keeping you from your future keeping you from moving forward let those things go um uh it's like it is what it is right it, you can't change it um there's no amount of work you can do to change it then it is time to let it go um ask your angels so if you are the person who prays meditates uh any of that stuff to connect with um uh your source then i would suggest you do that um remain positive because when you do everyone else around you will as well listen to your intuition you know you'll know when it's time to go you'll know when someone's lying to you you'll know when this is your sadness your energy of sadness or someone else's uh get more information before you make any any um you know uh, changes that are going to be consequential to your life um the uh, situation will improve and you will have abundance so um i feel like this isn't going if this isn't very far off aries and i think that you know that you can push through this um come on you you're the emperor right you're the emperor energy absolutely you can push through this um it is uh, coming up in the near future, um, if it's time for you to leave an, uh, a relationship behind and move ahead, I feel like you're living sort of in a business life right now where you and the partner are sort of in a dance of business and not really of being married. I feel like you need more than that. And I think that's why you're going to be moving forward uh, to something new. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you today. Um, I hope that resonated with somebody. I'm going to get this uploaded and I will be back next week. Tuesday for your reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.